So today here at Welder Up, what we're doing is we're basically doing a welding course. We have people showing up. I have a father and son coming. I got some brothers coming. I've got a couple of women that are involved in this welding course. And what we're gonna do is we are basically gonna take something from nothing and make something out of it. If your hood is not clean, then your welds are not gonna be clean. You know, some of the first things that you need to have is the right clothes to wear so you're not getting flash burned. You don't wanna get your eyes flash burned. You gotta have a correct hood. Make sure your flash lens is working on your hood if you have an auto darkening lens. So there's a lot of little things that you gotta do before you get started just to be safe. And you wanna keep them nice and clean. I keep my gloves in them so I'm ready to go when I go somewhere. And see inside there, I have cheaters is what they call them. They're magnifying glasses for blind people. All right? So yeah, when you guys get ready to, when you get old, they do have cheaters is what they call them. You know, one of the things that I wanna do is get people familiar with the shop and what fabrication is all about and what tools that you could have to really create something to make money with. And in our shop, we have a lot of, a lot of fab tools that we can use as far as an iron worker, a shear, a break. Um, all these tools are very handy to have if you want to do production where you're actually going to go out in the world and make money with production. You can actually get flash burn from the weld over there. Okay? So protect your eyes. Don't look at it. Don't get close to it and just be like, because dude, it feels like, and I've had it many times. This has got a chart on it, which makes it really handy. If you guys want today, take a picture of that with your phone before you leave and just study it. Okay, so the first part of the day is pretty important because we need to learn terms. We need to learn how to set the machine up. We need to know what machinery in this shop is about so you can actually make something, okay? At that point, you know, half the day's gone. It's time for lunch, so let's go to lunch. <music> So after lunch, it's like, let's, it's go time. It's time to get in the shop and get some work done. I wanna get these guys welding. We don't have a lot of time. I wanna make sure that we start from somewhere and we end very well. And that's, that is the goal here. Sure. Get closer, get closer, there you go. Get down into that plate. Nice, slow, very good. Slow down just a little bit. My confidence is so much better after the day has gone by because I got to keep practicing and keep practicing, so it just got a lot easier. I already welded before, but he's given me some details on how to, like, not getting too hot and getting too closer and stuff like that. It's not like a class. It's like hanging out with a buddy and he's showing you how to do it, but he's serious at the same time and down to earth, you know? If you've never touched the welding gun before, you'll, you'll be amazed at how much you'll learn and how much you'll get done and just how good it looks and how much you can do with just a little weld. He wants you to go home with a, a skill, you know? That's what Welder Up is. By the end of the day, they were running nice little beads. I mean, it looks really good. 